Hi, my name is Mike Herende, trailer system trainer, and today we're going to talk about bulk tank trailers. If you're going to perform any repairs on them or even open up the dome lid, you're going to want to make sure that there's no pressure inside of the trailer. I'm going to show you a couple of ways that you can make sure that there is no pressure inside of the trailer prior to opening it. Today I'm in the shop and I'm going to use this empty trailer as an example for what we're talking about today. When we do bring the trailers into the shop, they're clean and empty. We verify that with a washout ticket and a printout of the MSDS form. You're going to want to make sure to take every precaution for your own safety as possible, such as wearing the proper PPE, be it gloves, face shield, hearing protection, whatever is needed. The unloaned hose has a Chicago coupler fitting. We're going to go ahead and disconnect that. Next you'll find that there's a ball valve at the front here. We'll go ahead and open that up. This is one of the reasons why you can never entirely trust a gauge as being accurate. As you can see here, the needle is broken towards the bottom. Once you're on top of the trailer, this is the view you should get. Dome lid is tightened down, ball valve is shut, hose is connected. Let's assume that this gauge, we're not going to trust it, saying that it's at zero. On to the next step. What you want to do next is go ahead and there's a ball valve up here. This ball valve, slowly open it. That should relieve any pressure that's inside the trailer through the hose out onto the fender where we already open the ball valve and uncouple the Chicago fitting. At that point, if need be, release the unload hose. Another scenario you may encounter is seeing something here like this. It has an arrow on it. That's called a one-way check valve. It runs in line with the unload hose, your one-way check valve, your ball valve. It has two Chicago fittings on either end. If you see one of these here, you're going to want to remove it prior to opening the ball valve. If the system was under, if this trailer was under pressure and you open the ball valve thinking that any pressurized air is going to exit, uh, you would be wrong because the check ball in here would prevent anything from coming back this way. So, in this scenario, we're going to have to remove by pushing and twisting the one-way check valve. Remove it from the unload hose, reattach the unload hose, open the ball valve, and uncouple. Once your ball valve has been open, if you don't have any instrumentation or tools with you to poke inside there to make sure there's no product, as an additional check, these are the dog ears. There's six of them on the dome lid. If you slowly unscrew them one at a time, if there is any pressure, you'll begin to hear it being relieved. Don't take them all the way off just enough to where the dome lid is loose and that will allow any pressurized air to escape as well here you can see we have the ball valve open the vapor recovery vent open and the dome lid open thanks for watching i hope you found this video helpful stay safe out there and as always if you have any questions feel free to reach out to the training team